Well, let's talk about the uh, tour dates because you are, in fact, playing your first show this Thursday, the 14th, at the Arena in Brisbane, Mm -hmm. and on Friday, the 15th, at the University Roundhouse in Sydney, and Saturday at the Queensbridge Hotel in Melbourne, which has, in fact, sold out. So people out there in Melbourne, uh, if you missed out, well, then you've certainly missed out. Now, I'm sure fans uh, attending these shows, especially the Melbourne one, uh, can they expect, I guess, a full sort of history lesson in Megadeth from past to present? Well, we're going to play about two hours, Yes, um, and, and I think that that's probably more than enough for, for most people, although, you know, the rabid fans would like me to play, you know, two, three hours worth of music. Um, I think that, you know, just by selecting the best of the best, what we have right now, and including some of our new record, that they're going to get a really good... Uh, Mix. Uh, they're they're going to get a good representation of what the band's music is about over the years. Uh, a lot of bands, you know, they really push their new records hard when they're out on tour. And, you know, we've got, we've got a lot of great records over the years, so um, it, it's not about pushing a new record. It's about, you know, having an experience. If this is going to be the last tour and it's going to be a going-away party for us, we want to make sure that we say, you know, to uh, all of our fr- fans and friends from Australia and, and you know, um, any of the people who visited us from the neighboring islands, uh, that we we love them and, and we appreciate everything that they've done to make us feel welcome here in this beautiful country. You know, when we landed yesterday, I told the boys, I said, one thing you got to understand is that, <clears throat> you know, we just come over from Japan, and, um, you know, Japan is a very interesting country because it's kind of like Disneyland. I said, as soon as you come to Australia, you're going to fall in love with this place because the people are beautiful. It's like, uh, you know, Britain on the beach. Yep. And I knew I was here because <laughs> I'm, I'm having a problem with my computer today, and the guy from maintenance from the hotel comes in, and he's sitting there, and he goes, ah, shit. And I was like, well, that's an Aussie for you. you know? <laughs> Most American guys are too nervous to say what they really think. You know, they'd say, like, oh, poop. <laughs> we certainly say it the way it should be said. Right, right, right. So, you know, I mean, and, and that's the thing that I love about this country down here, because not only is the the area, the, the you know, the land here beautiful and the, the landscaping and the architecture really neat, but the people are just so wonderful. This, I mean, I feel really comfortable being here. I was um, out to dinner last night, uh, actually, um, with some friends, and, and I was thinking, you know, I could see my family coming down here and, and, you know, just loving this country, although it would be a pain in the ass for the kids to travel that far, but, I mean, I can see right into the heart and soul of a country when I'm there to see if it's something that I would really like, and, and I can't wait to play. I just can't wait. I'm so anxious to play right now. It's bugging the hell out of me. Well, it makes you and uh, it makes myself as well as many other fans out there who do have tickets for this up-and-coming show. So it's great to have you back in Australia again, Dave. Thank you. And uh, looking forward to it yet again. So, Thank you. Do you have any requests for me? Uh, requests as in track titles? Yeah. Hook in mouth? Hmm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> One of my faves anyway, or even Black Friday or The Conjuring. Okay. What else have we got here? Love to Death. These are my old requests. I'm being greedy. Mm-hmm. But there are a couple of them too that have cropped up in a couple of people's emails as well. Mm-hmm. How many other tracks think, do you need? I think Hook and Mouth is a possibility, bud, because the band guys, they love those songs. I mean... What about 502? Um, I, I don't know about that one because that was never really a favorite of mine. Yeah. It was, it was more like autobiographical, and whenever I think about that song, I think about, you know, if I would have made a left turn instead of a right, I probably wouldn't have got pulled off. <laughs> Alrighty, cool. Well, we can get you to choose a track from The System Has Failed. Cool. What track do you want to hear, Dave? Um, well, the track that we open with is Blackmail Universe. Some of the other tracks that we play, because, you know, w- this record really was a return to form for me. We do Something I'm Not. We we do... Uh, don't spoil it too much. Um, <laughs> you don't want me to say anymore? No, that's fine. Just don't want to spoil it. Okay, well, then I'll just say we do this song and that song and another song, and then we finish up with this other song, too. But Good enough. Keep them guessing. Another song before that one. <laughs> um, I would say because um, your your station is a, a metal station and, and that, you know, there are some alternative listeners that probably would be uh, a good idea of what we do if you played um, something I'm not. Yep. We can lock that one in, definitely. Cool. All right, thanks for your time, Dave. Uh, you're welcome, Andrew. Thank you, buddy. And let's check out some Megadeth on Triple J.